and can't control myself. Is that how some of us feel? Hello, people! <laughs> this is a very random uh, talk video. I just wanted to come on here, chit chat with you guys, get ready, do my hair because I felt like doing, doing that and just talk about what's happening right now. What else can we do, right? So, hello. <laughs> I want to curl my hair because I haven't done it for a while. I want to use this, but it has a UK plug. So I need to put this on <laughs> to be able to use it in Denmark. So we're going to do that. I hope this one works because the old one I had doesn't work anymore. Very strange. Okay, so one of the reasons why I'm also doing this is because I suddenly have more time on my hands to actually film for YouTube. I have a customer. I maybe don't have a customer today. I don't really know yet. She wrote to me earlier because that there was something with her son, so she needs to go to the hospital hospital to get something checked out um around one o'clock or something like that and i believe our shoot was around two o'clock so if everything goes well we might still do the shoot but later or we are going to push it to another day so i'm just going to go with the flow and I thought, why not just do a video to tap into the energy, talk with you guys. I want to know how you guys are doing. I want to know if you guys are feeling the same energies as I feel. Because there's, like, it's a strange energy, right? It's an uplifting energy. It's not a negative energy. But then at the same time, there is this energy of not really knowing what's going on. <laughs> Am I right? And, by the way... I want to show this to you guys. This is actually something I gave to Kiri. And I remember that she was here when she unboxed her presents. But I don't think she, rem she remember. Or maybe she deleted the footage. Because when I asked her if she edited that video. She was like, I don't think I filmed it. Like, I'm pretty sure you did. <laughs> so now I can show you guys what it is. This is so magical. The it's not sunny enough at the moment because it's winter for it to fully tap into its glory but when the sun hits it reflects rainbows everywhere it's so beautiful i will film it for you guys one day yeah <laughs> so for now it's just here i will put a link down below for anyone who wants to buy it okay so <sighs> the energy <laughs> <laughs> use this <laughs> you know you um you use what you can find this is what the universe does right when you're looking for something the universe is going to give something to you it might not be what you actually intended to use it might not be what you are like well normally you would not use this you know this is for your teeth but i'm using it for my hair but that's the universe right <laughs> okay and yeah a little trick put hairspray in your hair before you curl it <laughs> i always have customers being like how did you do this with my hair how did you make these curls hairspray but i want to say normally another thing that's actually easy easier when you curl your hair is to put up a ponytail but it should be up here so the hair is like free and then you just curl the long piece of the hair if you have longer hair obviously and that also makes beautiful curls i might have actually shown this in or on my vlog channel at some point anyway this morning i did actually film a video outside Ah, I actually have something that I bought that I haven't used yet, but where is that? <gasps> where is that? 
Aha! <laughs> so I don't burn my fingers. I have had one of these, but um, after I had a shoot, it disappeared. <laughs> okay, I believe it's like this, isn't it? Um, yeah, the energies are just all over the place. And like I tried to say, we do have a lot of planets that goes direct. But it's still like a slow energy. In the beginning, I didn't, you know, this is the beauty of learning from all of you guys. I thought that when a planet went direct, the energy also went direct straight away. But it also fits well to my energy, I will say. Because, you know... I'm so fast, right? I want things to happen very fast. So it makes sense that that's how I believe, but that's not how it is. It takes time for the planet to sit. Yeah. <laughs> you learn, you grow. Okay, so it's it's very, very settled. We are not doing dramatic curls. It's just a little uh, pow pow. I'm also going to pull some cards. But I really want to know how you guys are feeling. Do you feel this energy? Like, mm, it's like there's no full guidance. I don't know how to call it even. Oh my god. When it comes to like, what direction should I go in? What is my next move? What should I do? I have this feeling of the universe being like, you know, relax. Why are you so fast? I don't know. <laughs> So let me know in a comment if you guys feel the same. Do you feel the same, people? Another thing that I have paid attention to with myself is that I have actually had the feeling of not really being around that many people. And I feel awful because I have friends who's like, hey, when, I, when do we have time to hang out? When are we going to hang out? I'm like, well, yeah, I don't know what it is, but I just don't really feel up for it. And it's hard to explain because I feel some people, they just tap into the energy of like, oh, it's because there's something is wrong. It's because you're mad at me. Actually, no, I just, yeah. This is the only thing we do today. You know, it's it strains to feel bad with wanting uh, to be by yourself. Like you almost feel like you do something wrong. Okay, I'm trying my head. <laughs> I'm trying to be like, do I need to change the glove? I think I actually do. Yeah. I would love to know if I'm the only one who feels a little confused when it comes to that. Just confused in general. Like, what is happening? Where am I going? Where am I supposed to go? And it's not like you can tap into your spirit guides because they are very quiet. <laughs> but maybe it's because that we are not going anywhere yet. Right? Even if we really, really want to. It's like, hold on, like the daily reading for today. It's like, hold on, wait, wait, wait. It's like, what am I waiting on? They are not even telling us that. Now, yeah. I actually had a customer who talked about this. She was supposed to go on travels and, well, make retrograde, obviously, but suddenly everything just changed. Well, she ended up just sitting at home, doing nothing. And she was like, it felt amazing to suddenly just have the time for myself. But at the same time, I didn't know what to do with myself. She was like, I was sitting um, in, I don't know what you call that, a sunroom for three hours, just staring out, out the window. <laughs> and I was like, I know that feeling. <laughs> So I feel like I'm not the only one. Like you find yourself just sitting, staring, doing absolutely nothing. And thinking about it, it's not because there's like hundreds of 
thoughts popping up. It's just a peaceful. Yeah, but then suddenly the human is like, well, you need to do something. <laughs> but what? <laughs> it's strange, man. It's strange. I don't know what it is. But there's something happening with the planets, and I think that's why. And I also feel that it's important that we actually realize that it's okay. Not to, to do that much. Yes, it's strange, especially because that I feel that in this modern age, we grow up being taught by society that we need to do things all the time. We need to be the best. We need to be the fastest. But no, we also have a um, new moon in Aquarius, right? Which has something to do with us analyzing our emotions, becoming friends with our emotions, but also what comes to mind is to release something that our emotions are attached to. Yeah. Addiction, something that's holding us back. Because Aquarius is all about freedom. So what is holding us back? What is what makes you feel trapped? It's different things. And maybe that's why that we are gui being guided to be by ourselves. Be quiet. Universe is like be quiet, meditate, for God's sake. You see the uh, see the universe as the monk being in uh, his oh I did something wrong here didn't I <laughs> his like position is like shh human just have into it <laughs> and you're like well what am I doing what am I thinking where do I want to go <laughs> universe is like well if you just take the time if you're just quiet for one moment you will actually tell yourself is that is what we do right like we tap into the universe or oh, spirit guides we are like where am i going and i feel like we are tapping into an energy where we are actually guiding ourselves <sighs> that means that we actually need to uh, believe ourselves trust ourselves i think that's actually the hardest sometimes for us Okay, I think this is uh, this is it. It's very solid because that I used the big boy. <laughs> oh dear God! <laughs> okay, maybe this one needs a little swing. Yeah. Ooh, tapping into an energy where we just really fully need to trust ourselves. Well, Sandra, what is it that you want? <laughs> where are you going? Yeah, I know where I'm going. Well, if you knew, you wouldn't ask the question, right? <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Okay, this is it, people. So we take some cards too, just to tap into it. I'm filming something exciting as well because a very kind sir <laughs> sent me his book. So I'm going to review it and share it with you guys. I'm very excited about that. I'm going to do that after. I'm not going to talk more about it, but it's very exciting. So I actually think that we should take all in all energy. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I, by the way, I have money uh, laying here. I put a uh, pi uh, pyrite. Wow, pyrite <laughs> on it and citrin so that it can multiply. If you have like coins or real money, use the money for spells first. <sighs> okay. Let's use this. Yeah, but there is a very interesting. This is just a very interesting. Uh, yeah. 
I also feel a lot of us are being guided to trust in situations where we feel stressed or where we feel like this is just going wrong or this is not really exactly going as I planned. There is something that's very stressful, but it's because it's a part of us learning to control situations and be peaceful and mindful in those situations, even if they are very, very stressful or maybe even very, very painful. If some of you guys are going through a loss or... Yeah, well, it can be a loss from someone who passed away. It can be a loss when it comes to a friendship. It can be a breakup. It can be that you lost your job. It can be different things. And we are learning to be peaceful and trusting in this chaotic situation. If it's our finances, if it's something around our health, it's... Yeah. And it's very saying with the song, right? Because it just was lighting up here. I can't control myself. I think sometimes we do walk around with that feeling. Especially if we have a Mercury retrograde. Even through that we are out of it. Or it's, you know... Something is happening. <laughs> we do still feel a bubble. And we are not being guided. <laughs> <laughs> by outer circumstances, by outer by outer circles, because that we have our we have the answers for it. It's the only way I can put it. I don't even know. Okay. What do we need to know with whatever is going on? We have two cards. <laughs> this is perfect. Perfect. Eagle spirit. Spirit has your back. Spirit has your back, even though that we are not fully telling you what to do. It's like, uh uh, tap into it. We did, we did speak about the Eat, Pray, Love movie. We spoke about a lot of things in the Rambo video. So we know. Amadillo spirit, number three, two, three, three. Set healthy boundaries. Yeah. In our life in work, with other people, with the world, it's happening. It is fully happening, people. It's fully happening. Spirit, spirit always got you. Even if you might feel like you're not guided. And the thing is because that we have been... <laughs> We have been the passenger in the car, where Spirit drove <laughs> the car. And now Spirit is just jumping out of the car and being like, you drive. <laughs> we have been the passenger, but we didn't really fully pay attention all the way. Right? We we're just like, yes, yes, universe, you got it, you got it. <laughs> and now, it's like, oh my god. <laughs> I do want to take the book for the... Um, Amadillo. Isn't that the animal that's like it's rolling up in a ball when there is danger or something? There's something around it, right? You're entering a phase where in order for you to be in alignment with your intentions and co-create your best life, you may have to be discerning and say no to many things that may have been okay for you in the past. Which makes sense, right? If you are someone who always has been there for the people, no matter how tired you have been, people got into a routine of asking you for help or thinking, oh, well, you're going to fix my life or sort out my problems anyway, so I'm just going to ask you. Or I'm just going to put it over to you. But you are reaching a point where you need to jump out of the car when it comes to other people like the universe has done for you and be like hey you know how to drive this car so i'm gonna show you how the where the blinker is how the steering wheel functions <laughs> where the brake is where the speed is but you have to do the work <laughs> 
Oh my God, is that what's happening? <laughs> I didn't think about that. Is that what the universe is doing to us? Yes, it is. Obviously, for some of you guys, it might be another person, right? The universe does it to you, but you also have to be the big boss. But I actually think it, it just hit me. That is what the universe is doing, right? The universe is like, no, I can't help you right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> you already know how to do things. And we also know that if there is no push, if there is no nothing that pushes us out of the comfort zone, we are most likely never to step out of that comfort zone, right? Because that we are just here. It's it's perfect. You know, I have my communication with my spirit guides. They always tell me things so I can... <laughs> I don't have to make decisions. <laughs> but I feel that there is um, things that are happening behind the scenes where you are moving very fast and it actually makes sense with tomorrow's reading you're moving very fast into a crossroad where you have to make a decision so yes right now you don't go left you don't go right you don't go forward or back you're just there waiting for the signal right but the signal is not the stoplight turning green, the signal is actually within you. So we find ourselves at a crossroad when we learn to actually trust our own decision. Does that make sense? So let's take Harrow. I, I heard no, not that. Okay. Pretty sure that was my higher self. No, not that. No, not that. I'm listening to myself, trusting myself. So pay attention to what your higher self is doing. If there is like an urge inside of you where you're like, maybe I should take this road today when you're driving to work. Maybe I should stop and get something from Starbucks. Instead of being like, oh, I can't do that because I have 10 minutes to get to work. Screw time. <laughs> if you feel the urge to do something, do it. If you feel like maybe I shouldn't go to work today. Well, maybe I shouldn't go to work today. Nine of Cups. You, my friend, you are learning to tap into your cups. By yourself because there's just one person here one person and then we have more cups so again there is an emotional aspect that we are learning right now and then we have the seven of cups but you will we also have the ace of cups reverse so i feel it's all about us finding that cup being like okay i want this cup i want that cup don't limit yourself and don't let other people steer you in another direction. If you're like talking with a friend and you're like, well, I actually feel like just staying home from work. And someone is like, oh, you can't do that. What are they going to do? What are they going to say? You're going to be fired. And you're like, well, I actually... The camera stopped. I actually just feel like I want to take this for myself. Or if you want to quit your job. Or if you want to, you know, I don't know. Do things in a more simple way. If you want to step back from something, then do it. Don't think about what, you know, people are going to think. Yeah, move forward. It's not so hard. Even if we do really have to, you know, be like, okay, what is it that I want? Yes, it might not be what you thought you wanted. And it might not be what other people want you to do. But it, what you, it is what you want to do. It's not, again, Aquarius, when we talk about the new moon in Aquarius, Aquarius is like the future energy, but it's also this energy of not following a normal routine, a normal lifestyle. Like maybe not having the most fancy home or maybe not living a life where you are going out partying every day being materialistic in a way you think that you need to have the fastest car it's something we've spoken about a lot, a lot and it's hard to step out of this energy of simplifying things 
And it's hard to believe that that is actually what gives you abundance in your life, including money. It's interesting because the book that I'm going to record um, today, there is a chapter um, around when it comes to runes, because it's about runes, where the first rune is about that. And we're going to talk about this, so I'm not going to go too much into details, but today the message is very simple. To find out what it is that you truly want without thinking about money or status or success because it's things that will come to you automatic um but there is a new chapter a new life that's waiting for you it's very different i think that's the easiest way to explain it you're being guided to do something in a complete new way your life will be very very different so this energy of thinking like you have been thinking, fixing things as you did in the past, you're being asked to do it in a new way. There was a knock with that. I think that's it. Yeah. I will get this out so that I can continue <laughs> and then I will talk to you guys later. Bye.